played drums for the Goo Goo Dolls, have for uh, 16 years, and I've been a ProMark endorser for about, gosh, I don't know, 11 or 12 years, a long time. Uh, I just auditioned in 95, and they were looking for a drummer. I knew their manager had an in with him, and uh, they came out to LA looking for drummers. Um, I don't know, probably because I wanted to be Keith Moon when I was about 10 years old. Just, uh, just always what I mean, I started playing in seventh grade, and it was just, looking back at it now, why the drums, I'm, I'm not quite sure, I just, I just liked them, and stuck, stuck with it ever since. Um, first album I ever bought. The one I remember, the first record I remember buying that I, that I definitely kept was, uh, was Pete Townsend, Empty Glass, when I was in 1980. I remember buying that record. Um, probably before that it would have been singles. You know, the, back in the 45s, like, you know, like when I was in uh, elementary school, because, yeah, in elementary school I would have bought all the, the singles that were out. Fox on the Run by Sweet, I remember having that one. Uh, the plan to listen to Mazzy Star, I don't know why I was in a mood to be mellow. So, uh, recently what have I bought? I got the new, uh, new PJ Harvey, new Bright Eyes, bought both of those last week. Um, and other than that, I've, been, I've actually been listening to, got all over the map. I've listened to a lot of classical recently. <laughs> they were always my favorite. They're always what I bought anyway. And uh, I wasn't always in a position, or luckily I was in a position to where I was able to basically just wait until the uh, companies that I wanted to endorse would endorse me. So, I mean, back when I was playing in college and everything, I just, I just liked Promark Sticks the best, just, for whatever reason. Because they got the best quality, and they really, I mean, they're just consistent. They're really consistent. The weights are always really good. So. What, stick, what yeah. stick do you use? Five B, wood tip. Standard. I actually use the pro, the pro grips that I don't think um, you guys can work on that. I don't think they're in the stores yet because I can't buy them. I can only uh, I only seem to get be able to get them straight from from Promark. And Kevin told me he said that they actually haven't hit the stores yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm addicted. I used to use I used to use the regular sticks with uh, stick wrap tape. But now I use that program stuff, so I hope you guys keep making them. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I am that. That's yeah. That's what I use exclusively, pretty much now. So, Pro Grip Five Five B Hickory Wood Tip. Uh, Thomas Dark Classics. I've been with Thomas again for a dozen years, more more like fifteen years now, and uh, play a pretty standard set: twenty-two inch kick drum, twenty-two by sixteen, uh, rack toms, two rack toms, twelve and thirteen, and a sixteen inch floor tom, uh, six and a half by. Uh, 14 inch snare drum and then zildjian cymbals I use so right now my setup it changes a little bit my cymbals change a little bit right now I'm using uh, all K's so 14 inch hi-hats 17 inch crash 18 inch crash those are both dark K's I'm actually using a 21 inch medium ride now which zildjian has to, had to make for me because they don't uh, they don't market them anymore that's, that's actually not a K, it's just a regular 21 inch medium ride, so they were nice enough to mold me a couple of those. And I'm using a, uh, a K dry ride that I put rivets on as a, an effect symbol on the side. Uh, well, by the time we did our, by the time the tour actually started, we're starting to make money. So once I joined the band, you know, joining a band and being on a major label was kind of a good indicator. I was able to quit my day job for the first time ever, and that was in 1995. But the first time I felt like I had succeeded was the first time I went to Europe. Because I always told myself that if I ever got to go to Europe and play music and somebody else paid for me to get there, then that was, if I ever achieved that, then everything else was gravy. So when we did that, I think it was May of 95 we got there. And I literally remember playing the first show in London and I'm like, doesn't matter, it can all go away tomorrow and I'll never feel like, like a failure. I feel like I succeeded more than, you know, I mean, doing that is more than 99% of inspiring musicians. So. Not really. We get asked that a lot, but I don't mind playing any of them. So. <laughs> so we play the most often, the ones I like playing the most, so, which, is, which is a good thing, I guess, you don't really get bored of them. I, mean, I love playing Iris, because it's, it's always interesting trying to get that groove right, because it's, it's pretty laid back, so I have to really sort of control everybody. So it's still fun to play. Probably Soldier. Yeah, I like that song. <laughs> um... Personalities probably over the years. Just, uh, I mean, you're around each other an awful lot, so you just kind of have to get used to it. And the, tra the travel as well. I mean, touring, the older you get, and then touring relentlessly, it just it starts to beat you down a little bit. So 
Some of it's just keeping it fresh and uh, giving everybody enough space and learning how to live with each other. I think that's what that's why most bands self-destruct. I mean, we've been I've been touring with them for six, we've been touring 16 years at this level now, so it's pretty it's pretty long time, <laughs> longer than most bands are together. Uh, you remember that it's a job, and you remember that you're lucky to be doing it, and that people paid to see you play, so you better dig in there and find some motivation. Because yeah, it's, you can get you can sometimes walk on walk on stage and feel unmotivated, and it's you snap out of it pretty quick though when you when you look out and you see that there's that many people there to see you play. Um, yeah, I mean, all my, my companies that endorse me have all been great over the years. So I've got great, great relationships with all of them. And I've, yeah, all the companies I endorse I've been with for over 10 years. Hopefully, continue those relationships. And,